Hey y'all, welcome to Faith and Build Ministry. My name is Maisha. Welcome or welcome back if you're a new or returning subscriber. Today I'm going to be releasing a video on... Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to be releasing a video talking about the Passover, this video. Try and get this to stay. Ignore my dog in the background, kind of barking right now, but... Yeah, the title of this video is What is Passover and Should We Celebrate It? As some of y'all are familiar with already, this week is Passover. Passover started um, Monday evening and then I believe it ends either Monday, I think Tuesday. It ends Tuesday, next Tuesday, the 30th. Yes, it's April 22nd through April 30th. So it's the seven day festival and it is a Jewish holiday that com commemorates the slavery of the Israelites in Egypt and their ultimate exodus to freedom. So I'm going to read certain passages because Exodus chapter 12 talks about what is Passover, um, what the Lord did during that time and like the instructions that he gave the Israelites in order to exit their slavery but also the festivals of how to go about celebrating it so i'm gonna have the bible scriptures on the screen so you can follow along or if you have your bible you can follow along that way either way but we're going to be reading in um exodus chapter 12 starting off verses 11 through 13. so it says here is how you must eat it. You must be dressed for travel, your sandals on, your feet and your staff in your hand. You are to eat it in a hurry. It is the Lord's Passover. I will pass through the land of Egypt on that night and strike every firstborn male in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. I am Yahweh. I will execute judgments against all the gods of Egypt. The blood on the houses where you are staying will be a distinguishing mark for you. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. No plague will be among you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. So, um, as you can see in that short passage of scripture, the Lord is... So, yeah, the Lord is getting ready to strike um, the Egyptians and Pharaoh at this time because they would not let the Israelites leave um, slavery and go where the Lord was calling them to go. So, I'm going to skip down to verse 29 and going to read up to 32. It says, Now at midnight the Lord struck every firstborn male in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh, who sat on his throne, to the firstborn of the prisoner who was in the dungeon, and every firstborn of the livestock. During the night, Pharaoh got up, he along with all his officials, in all the Egyptians, and there was a loud wailing throughout Egypt, because there wasn't a house without someone dead. He summoned Moses and Aaron during the night and said, Get up, leave my people, both you and the Israelites, and go worship Yahweh as you have asked. Take even your flocks and your herds as you asked and leave, and also bless me. So it was the Lord passing over the Israelites and not letting the destruction and judgment reach them, but it reached um, the Egyptians and Pharaoh. And then that resulted in Pharaoh letting them go onto being released and freedom from slavery altogether. So Passover is a seven day holiday, like I said, celebrated from April 22nd to April 30th. And there are different ceremonies and customs and traditions that many, um, mostly Jews celebrate it, but you don't have to be a Jew to celebrate it, which I will get into a little later in the video. But um, yeah, Passover is also supposed to be a time of purification, um, especially from any leavening. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, one major rule is that you're not allowed to eat any leaven foods, mostly bread that includes leaven. And leaven is just another fancy word. Um, for flour. All right, now I'm gonna um, scoot back up near to the top, still in chapter 12, and read verses 15 through 20 that talks about the unleavened bread and stuff. All right, now I'm gonna 
um, scoot back up near to the top, still in chapter 12, and read verses 15 through 20 that talks about the unleavened bread and stuff. You must eat unleavened bread for seven days. On the first day, you must remove yeast from your houses. Whoever eats what is leavened from the first day through the seventh day must be cut off from Israel. You are to hold a sacred assembly on the first day and another sacred assembly on the seventh day. No work may be done on those days except for preparing what people need to eat. You may only do that. You are to observe the festival of unleavened bread because on this very day I brought your divisions out of the land of Egypt. You must observe this day throughout your generations as a permanent statute. You are to eat unleavened bread in the first month from the evening of the 14th day of the month until the evening of the 21st day. Yeast must not be found in your houses for seven days. If anyone eats something leavened, that person, whether a foreign resident or native of the land, must be cut off from the community of Israel. Do not eat anything leavened. Eat unleavened bread in all your homes. So, reason being not to eat any leavened um, items or bread is to commemorate, you know, the Israelites freedom from Egyptian slavery and um, there was a s part of the scripture I read in verse 11 um, in earlier in the video that said um, it said here's how you are to eat it you must be dressed for travel your sandals on your feet and your staff in your hand you would eat it in a hurry and a few verses above that it says they are I think it's verse 8, they are to eat the meat that night, they should eat it roasted over the fire along with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. Do not eat any of it raw or cooked in boiling water. Yeah, um, they didn't have any time to eat any leavened bread before they left, um, before they left, uh, sl the Egyptian slavery, Egypt. Um, because bread back then and even now takes a few hours to rise, you know, so depending on what size you want the bread. So continuing on, you're to avoid foods with fermented grains such as wheat, spilt, barley, oats, and rye, and then as you already know, avoid bread, rolls, pasta, flour tortillas, or cookies, anything with flour substance, but you can look into um flour alternatives like almond flour and stuff um as like substitutes for like the original flour um i did look all this up <laughs> so i'm gonna answer another common question what even takes place during this time of passover what are we supposed to be you know doing so kind of gonna give so for those of you who don't know jews primarily go by the old testament and its teachings they don't refer to the new testament or even acknowledge the new testament at all they um i believe they believe jesus was real is real you know but they look to him they look at him more as like a prophet or like a teacher of some sort they don't see him as the messiah and you can see more about that when you, if, if you are familiar with New Testament readings, you can see about that, that most of them, um, don't believe that Jesus is the son of, son of God and stuff. I also want to go over a brief common misconception because even I had to get up to date with this. Um, Jews, Hebrews, and Israelites, the Jews are referred to the Israelites in the Old Testament but they refer to um, the Jews in the New Testament they're the same they're all the same all of, all three that I named Jews he Hebrews and Israelites are all the same um, so yeah just getting that out the way but it's changed the name has changed over the years but if you track they've tracked the Jews have tracked like their um, ancestry and it tracks back to the Israelites and stuff so um, unless you are a Jew or Hebrew um, you're not required to celebrate Passover 
but there is no rule that says that you can't participate. So I know a few of my friends who are participating this year, kind of newly for I'm even participating, still learning, you know, um, I'm going to be more into it next year. My participation was a bit last minute because of how I was brought up and stuff. Um, and because I was just starting to get a deeper reading of like the Old Testament and certain festivals and stuff um, as of this year. So, yeah, but you can, but if you do participate, you must adhere to the laws that are set in place. And I'm going to quickly read Colossians 2, 16 through 17, verses 16 through 17. And this is Paul speaking. Therefore, don't let anyone judge you in regard to food and drink or in the matter of a festival or a new moon or a Sabbath day. There are a shadow of what was to come. The substance is the Messiah. So Paul was writing to the Gentiles because anybody who is a non-Israelite or non-Jew is a Gentile. So yeah, Paul was writing to the Gentiles at the time because they were being pressured to um, follow Jewish laws and customs and participate in festivals. So he's speaking to them at the time and saying basically that we don't have to live as Jews do. It's a different standard for um, for them because they are of Israelite descent and it did say um, if you read through chapter 12 of Exodus and I do advise you to go back and read through it it says God says to keep this festival going um, for the generations to come and I'm paraphrasing but um, I could put the verse on the screen as well but if you'd like to read like more about how um, Gentiles, we don't have to celebrate Passover, it's not required for us. I'm gonna put it in the description box because I found a few verses on it. But yeah, this pretty much wraps it up for this video. I will be releasing a part three to the dream series. This one will most likely be talking about signs that you have the gift of prophecy and getting a little bit more into how to steward the prophetic giftings. And if you haven't already watched the two parts I put out for the dream series it's how to break down your dreams from God and then possible symbols or meanings that possibly have been in your dreams but you haven't been able to understand it so you can look at those videos I've grouped the dream series in a playlist so you can just go on my channel and you'll pretty much see it there's not too, a whole bunch of looking around you'll have to do but yeah that's all I have for y'all today and if you made it this far thank you for watching my video bye <laughs>